everyone. Stupid mic button being tricky, as usual. But hey, welcome. Welcome back to Sims 4 Bachelor. Let me get my OBS back up here, but hi, hope you're having a good night. I'm excited to get to some Bachelor. I'm like nervous excited because we're down to final five. If you missed last week, spoiler alert, Rosabelle went home. Very shook. I think all of us were shook. I don't know how that happened. Like, I know how it happened, but I don't know how that happened, you know? I was not expecting her to go home in, like, top six. That's crazy. But we are left with five wonderful women left who are still on the journey to become Devante's wife. And we're going to be in a cabin this week. We're staying in Granite Falls instead of our, our island paradise. We're, we're doing a woodsy paradise this week to see how the girls fare. Um... I guess I kind of lied in my announcement. It's not really camping. It's like glamping. Staying in a cabin. Does that count as glamping? Uh, we're going to be, you know, doing some outdoorsy activities, though, for all of our dates and such and, and our party and things. But the format should be the same. I'm trying to think if there's any announcements of how this week's gonna go. Uh, the group date's gonna be with everyone. I think that's the only difference. Because there's only five left, so we're doing a group date with everyone. And just like last week, there's not gonna be a rose given out of the party. Only on the one-on-one -on -one date and the group date. So, depends on how many luxuries the cabin has, I guess. <laughs> right? <laughs> but hey, Oni. Hey, Marty. I saw you guys in chat. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. I'm gonna unmute Sims real quick, because I never remember to do that. But haha, -ha, got it got it this week and then I think that's about all we need to talk about let's get in let's get into our day of mingling um make sure sims is showing up here okay and we will load in so I'm gonna hit play here and let them start going about their business in the house oh you know what I meant to also lock the upstairs for Devante's area where did I add that? Is it on the third floor? I'll give you a little tour of the house in a moment. No, I made his little apartment on like the bottom floor this time. There's like windows in the door so they can peep in on what he's doing, I guess. <laughs> but here, let's let's put all the levels up. Uh, if you haven't seen Granite Falls, came with Outdoor Retreat. It's the little camping world. It's pretty nice. I haven't played in it much, but here's a little campsite area and here's our gorgeous cabin this is just like pretty much every other lot that i use in the show except for our og house uh, i found it on the gallery so if you search granite falls luxury lodge you should be able to find this i made small tweaks just so it works for bachelor but the rest should be the same so we have a nice little downstairs area here's the living room there happens to be five window panes perfect for each of the five pictures of the ladies left which um to recap that would be delphine Haley, johanna reagan and tuesday the only ones left in the running to win Devante's heart looks like Haley's already jumping into the tv i've given them little you know hiking type camping clothes makeovers as well there's a spoiled grilled cheese sandwich here for some reason uh, we've got a rose ceremony area out there. We don't need to pay attention to that till later. A uh, little kitchen, computer nook. This is going to be Devante's personal little apartment area. Um, Delphine, sweetheart, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> Good. I, I'm, I'm glad, Oni. Uh, glad to have another Delphine supporter <laughs> in chat. Um... And I saw that you got your vote in this week. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> we will get to the votes in just a minute. Uh, once we're done looking at the house a little bit. Uh, there's some bedrooms upstairs. Some hobby areas. Another bathroom. And then I think there's two more beds left upstairs. Yeah, not that the Sims ever use them. We like literally never see the girls sleep. But it's fine. They have a nice little deck. Gorgeous pool. Little yoga area. Bonfire area. We'll be having a little bonfire party later in the episode. Uh, we're only going to be staying here one week. It's, it's just this week that we're in this lodge, so savor it while it lasts, I guess. <laughs> and then, yeah, our, our rose ceremony area over here. Another little porch seating area. It's very nice. Oh, oh, there's a basement gym and sauna as well, I guess. Oh, Devante, please. Inappropriate. My goodness. 
Yeah, it turns out having notifications on voting polls in Discord <laughs> makes voting on polls in Discord much easier. You don't say, Oni. That's super surprising. <laughs> Alright, everyone's needs are kind of low, so they're thankfully taking care of themselves. Let's put the walls down and check in what everyone's doing. We'll let them angle to 8 p.m. ish, pretty much. Just like. Just like usual. Did the stream freeze? I don't know why it did, if it did. It looks like it's still going on my end, so it might just be you, Oni. Yeah, let me know if it's broken, though. <laughs> I mean, I can restart it. You're good? Okay, babe. I'll leave it for now in case I hear any different... Uh, I'll change it, but... For now, we'll just move forward. Looks like Tuesday's making some food. Probably just for herself. But I guess just me then. BRB. All good, Oni. I doubt you can hear me if it's frozen. But <laughs> Go ahead. Fix your stream. Okay. Oh, everyone's making food. I mean, you might as well take advantage. This is a nice-ass kitchen. Um, where's Johanna going? Johanna's going to nap. Delphine's also going to make food. Y'all, you could just make food for each other. Like, you could make a big group meal instead of all making food. Bitch, if you're gonna make eggs and toast, don't just start it and leave it in the middle of the table. Oh, and Haley's out at the pool. Oh, there's a little indoor pool, too. I forgot about that. It's nice for our, our vampire ladies. <laughs> Or lady. Is she the only? No, Tuesday. I always forget that Tuesday's a witch. Because I was going to say, is Haley the only occult left? She's only, like, blatant occult. Okay. You know what? I'm going to bump their needs up just so that they're not all sleeping this whole time. <laughs> We're going to fill their needs real quick. Since it's very early in the day, I don't want them to be sleeping the whole time. Devante, why don't you get out of the sauna? Come on up to where everyone's hanging out. Start mingling, dude. We will be directing some of his actions. You know, we'll pay attention to whims, and then, as always, we have our favorites poll where all of the uh, responses, all the votes count towards romantic interactions towards them. This week we switched to voting only once. So in the previous weeks you could vote for as many people as you wanted, but now that there's so little people, you get one vote get to choose one person that you're going to put all your cards behind and um it shaked out well it's, it's everyone's kind of spread across the board to be honest to some degree anyways <laughs> i'll be lurking for a bit have some news i need to look at you are all good marty no problem hope it's not bad news why are there two pans on the stove you guys are awful at this I know I filled your needs, but don't just stop cooking because I don't want this house to burn down. Can they both cook at the same time? That seems like no something that can't happen. What? Shorg. Okay. We're just moving these off of the stove so it doesn't burn the house down. Jesus Christ. Okay. Since Devante's chilling, we can get into the poll a little bit, though, and get into these boats, start doing some interactions get the romantic energy flow in. So this week, we'll, we'll go from lowest to highest votes. So ringing in with a whopping zero votes is Reagan. So no one's really putting their, their money on Reagan at this point, unfortunately. And she's not going to get any extra help <laughs> this week unless y'all call for it later on a date. Um, if she wants interactions on this mingle day, she's gonna have to get them naturally from Devante. Are you? Oh, she's napping up here. Okay. Fuck off, Pearl. We... <laughs> Goodbye. We don't care about you. <laughs> Alright. And then we have two people tied with one vote, so I'm just gonna go down the list, which is in the order of portrait panels here. So we'll start with Tuesday, because Tuesday was kind of chilling up here by herself. Um, yeah, why don't you go and... Er, Go over here. Go sit on this little couch. Since Johanna's heading to the to the the recreation. Oh, he's going to talk to Delphine. Like on his own though. Oh, I don't want to cancel this. We'll wait for this to happen unless they're about to hook up. Is that mistletoe kiss. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Oh, adorable. Love it. Very sweet. Okay, now if you're about to hook up though, 
woohoo and shower. That's nice. I'm not going to let them be getting into too much hanky-panky all night, though, because it's going to start turning into a nuisance. <laughs> we will note that he had the desire to. Let's. We're going to go do an interaction with Tuesday, though. Why don't you get up here? I do. Tuesday, get back here. I wasn't done. <laughs> Johanna back at back at the punchin. I would be intimidated if I was one of the other girls. Because Johanna might beat me up. She's a little clingy. Like, clingery. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Can you not sit on the couch next to her? Why? Go sit next to her. Yep. Stupid. There we go. So since Tuesday got one vote, we will throw one romantic interaction her way. See how that goes. He is feeling flirty. Put the walls up for this. Eh. Oh, or not. Never mind. Sims does not like the walls up. It's not going to let me get a good camera angle, so we will just stare into the bathroom in the background. Alright. Let's just... We'll just... Let's blow a kiss. That's kind of... That's pretty safe, I think. She's feeling confident anyways. She looked real surprised by that kiss, probably, because Devante's a fuckboy. You're not wrong, Oni. Nice. Glad to have you back. Glad your stream's working again. Ziffle. Okay. That's not framed too badly. Oh, they're gonna keep doing some autonomous flirting. Nice. Nope, you're not gonna woohoo in the sauna, but you wanna keep flirting with each other? Okay. I think things have been heating up between them more and more lately. Because I was really noticing that when I was doing the, the recap for this week. Like, Tuesday used to never really be in the episodes, but they had a really strong friendship since the very first day. But the past few weeks, they've slowly been getting more and more hot and heavy with each other. Like, look at this. They've had only autonomous flirting. <gasps> he just confessed his attraction to her. Wait, nope, nope. You're not going to go fuck. But that's the first person that... <laughs> that's the first person that he's autonomously confessed attraction to. That's pretty big. I'm really surprised, actually. I would not expect that to be Tuesday that that happened with, but... I don't know. Things are getting a little steamy between them. Could Tuesday be the real secret dark horse in this competition? Perhaps. That conversa conversation seems to have come to a certain actual end, though. So we'll move on to the other one with only one vote. She should still be on this same level. Yep, she just finished her boxing, too. There we go. So Johanna has also received one vote this week. So let's go talk to her a little. Let's go compliment her on her appearance, you know. She looks good in that gym outfit. I said it last week. I'll say it again. Um, let's, yeah, we'll compliment her appearance. Damn girl, you're looking fine. I like when you punch things. I'm really good at flirting with people, if you didn't pick that up. Okay. Now they're just joking around. But she's 42. She was into it. They're both very sweaty. Oh, it's like scorching out, isn't it? Whoops. <laughs> How close to fall is it? A fall is tomorrow. Perfect. Because I did want to get a little cozier for the, the dates as far as clothing goes. A little warmer and cozier. So I was hoping it wasn't going to be super duper hot and in summer still for much of our time in this building. Their conversation seems to be going well, though. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I need to do more digging on Life Decider. I, like, very briefly looked up if Life Decider can do randomization, but I didn't find anything on it. Oh, she's got a whim about him. Oh, she wants to embrace him. We'll pin that, because I don't know if I want to go, like, in on that right away. It doesn't tend to play very well whenever we do that. Um, ew, what the fuck? Why do you have dirty dishes in your... Okay. What was I literally just about to do? Oh, can't quit her job. Ugh, I won't do it yet because I don't want to stop their conversation. But remind me to quit her job. Mm, don't trust you guys. Don't... Nope. See, I'm stopping him because he's trying it with everyone, and I don't know if that's because he is genuinely that into everyone, or if something like Slice of Life is running a little rampant, rampant again. Oh my god, I didn't even notice Haley in the background in the bathroom the entire time. <laughs> Rip. Okay, quit your job. We're not doing that. Uh, well, that's... We're done with the two that had only one vote each. And since we're moving on to 
the rest of the people, um, the other two remaining, Delphine and Haley, both got two votes each. And since Haley is already up here, where we just were, let's head and talk to her. Do two romantic interactions with her real quick. And then I'll take care of Delphine and we'll, we'll be done with our initiated ones by like 2 p.m. in the game. Watch. Yes, yes, quit. Shush game. It's not sad. Okay, Haley, I prefer you be in your everyday wear also. I didn't change their sweat suits, so. <laughs> and I have different outfits planned for all the other events, really. I guess besides the one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. A little flirting in the bathroom. That's not weird in any way. Oh, there we go. Game hello. Kiss hands seems a little forward. Let's just start by complimenting her appearance. Then maybe we'll throw a flirt or a pickup line or something. Nothing too intense. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do a sexy pose. I don't think that's too forward. I think that'll go well enough. Yeah, no, she's into it. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> okay, that's our two directed interactions for Haley, so I'll cross her off. We'll let them keep going for as long as they are going to talk, though. Abgor, you flop. Tell her story, that's nice. <laughs> okay. They seem to move a little more to- oh! I was gonna say they moved more to, to friendly, but my goodness. Haley just has to hook up with him. <laughs> Come on, stop it. Y'all's hormones are running way too rampant, but... Haley's one of the only ones he hasn't actually slept with yet, so I mean... I don't- I don't know if that's a positive or a negative. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Reagan's staring at a bookcase. Where? Oh, Delphine's just still standing in the kitchen. We can go talk to her in the kitchen. This is well secluded enough, right? Yeah, no one's really in here right now. Haley's adorable. She is. I, I'm glad you agree, Oni. I love her so much. Okay. So Delphine also received two votes in our poll. So we will give her two interactions real quick. Here, go for a pickup line, sure, since that popped up first. And then... Yeah, just flirt. That'll work. Alright, I think that's record time getting through all of our uh, vote-sanctioned interactions. Oh, damn. Things are already feeling steamy between them. There we go. Dag, dag. Excuse me, Pierce? Leave me alone. Oh, we'll move on to some women interactions after we're all done here. Okay, that's just a risque question. That's allowed. Look at her. Gav and I were discussing earlier about how, like, Delphine really has kind of turned into a freak the past couple weeks, and I enjoyed her progression. See? <laughs> <laughs> like, she was kind of the girl, good girl. They were just kind of all platonic. And then she really kicked it into gear um, the other week. Maybe she realized how much she was, like, sleeping with other people. And she was like, I need to step up my game. <laughs> and she she really has. She came to play. I'm just going to save real quick since we got all those interactions in. Just to be safe. Um, and then let's look through some whims and see if anyone has any whims about him. And we'll do those. Otherwise, just let them autonomously mingle as they're, as they're gonna, you know? I'm kind of scared about the group date. Because <laughs> I'm worried about autonomous flirting ruining things, but we're gonna try and corral it and not make it cause too much damage. 
to the best of my ability at least. This should be the last week we have to worry about that really. The next couple weeks are not really going to be all mingling together. There's not really going to be opportunities where he's around all the girls at one time besides the rose ceremony at the end. So he should be okay. Oh, oh, what did he, what was he about to do with Johanna? Woohoo and shower. God damn it. <laughs> I guess I can let some of them woohoo at this point now that we're done. I just don't want him to be like trying to fuck everyone that we talked to. So yeah, I guess it, at this point now that my input or my hands are off of the interactions. Guess I won't stop them if I don't catch them. <laughs> See, yeah, Johanna wants to embrace him. Oh, her and Haley watching TV, that's cute. She looks intense. She looks ready to fucking come for all these girls if they try and take her man. <laughs> Johanna Loki scares me, to be honest. Oh, why are there woohoo sounds? What is happening? Oh. Well, Delphine took things into her own hands when I told her no twice. Ew, who are the hell? Leave me alone. Thanks. Was that Mortimer Goth? <laughs> They're just allowed to woohoo. Devante's gonna die from dehydration. <laughs> Always hydrate yourselves in between your sex sessions, kids. That's also included in having safe sex. Practice self care, too. <laughs> Look, if that happens, that's not my fault for him being a dumbass, okay? I'm gonna delete this shit, cause, bitch, oh, annoying. Get a zook. Get a zook. Oh. You back? Welcome back, Marty. We're just kind of letting them generally mingle at this point. We finished all of our directed interactions. None of them went super poorly this time, which is very good. We didn't get into ar into any arguments this week, thusly, but there's still a few hours left, you know. Does Tuesday have any whims about him? No. There's something about Johanna, but not... Oh, there we go. She wants to make out with him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not gonna ever do that straight up in the kitchen right now. Uh, Johanna wants to embrace him. What does Delphine want to do? Have sex with him? That's... I'm not gonna direct that to happen, but... Make out. Oh my god, everyone's just real horny for him. Except Haley doesn't have anything. Johanna... One more chance? No. Okay. Well, I mean, since Tuesday wants to make out with him, I mean. I think they have to be sitting to make that happen. I. Listen. That stupid whim, the like make out whim, comes up constantly and I never know how to do it. Devante dies. Does this become the bachelor? Right for one of the ladies. <laughs> I mean, I'd be down, honestly. Let's see what romance is for once the guy's taken out of the picture. Oni, you should ask Nightbot, honestly. He's more no more all knowing than I am. Hello, Tuesday. I'm trying to help you in your quest to make out with him. <laughs> and you're still drinking orange juice in front of the fridge. There we go. Let me know if it's freezing or anything. My frames are like say they're in the red, but Twitch inspector's not saying there's a problem. I don't know, fam. That thing I said, oh. <laughs> See, Nightbot gives the most helpful answers, so Okay. Oh my lord. Yeah, makeout's like never an option, I feel like. So we'll just we'll have her kiss him and I'm gonna count that for the whim, to be honest. Oh, it has to be boyfriend, damn. She wants to get serious. 
buffered for me a little bit recently. Okay. Oh, oh, damn, they're going in again. Okay. When did, is that him with the little thought bubble of holding hands? That seems pretty intimate. Oh, he's got a whim about Johanna. Oh, he wants to embrace her too, and she wants to embrace him. That works out well. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna stop this because I don't know where they were going to have sex, and I was kind of scared it was about to be like right in front of everyone. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that might not have canceled it though. I guess if they're down here, I don't really care. Oh, we'll see what happens. I think. Oh, they did stop. Okay. Thank you for letting me know, Marty. Those I don't know why I asked necessarily. There's not a ton I can really do, but Oh, do I have a spec to can punching the punching bag, damn. Reagan also wants to make out with him, and since Reagan didn't get any votes here. We'll have her go kiss him. Tuesday, get back upstairs, please. Any make out um whim. We're just gonna count his as kiss. Cause it's very hard to get the makeout interaction to come up. I think it's only really on beds or couches. They're just rarely sitting next to each other, so it's not the most um it's not the easiest thing to accomplish. Here, why don't you go kiss him though? Because they've had their first kiss at this point. I'm pretty sure she finally got that damn first kiss. There we go, kiss. Let's see how that goes. Kind of bold to walk up and kiss him without starting a conversation first, but hey, her whim wasn't about conversing with him, so I'm only gonna direct her to do whims. Oh, oh, oh my god! Yikes. That did not go well. <laughs> I was kind of worried about her doing that. She's really not learned from that stupid from like being too forward. Now they're both really embarrassed. <laughs> woof. Yeah, oof. Oof is right. Oh, he gave her a hug. That was nice though. Reassure her a little. Oh, she's got another win. Be friendly. There you go. Just chill it out a little bit, Reagan. Go too hard too fast sometimes, man. As we discuss in the weird dungeon gym. <laughs> um, ask for reassurance. I think that's an appropriate friendly action for this competition and for current circumstances. Especially with how embarrassed she is. That makes sense. Here we go. Oh my god. What a quick turnaround to confident. My goodness. Reagan, I think a little bit too much of your self-esteem is rooted in Devante's opinion of you, but who am I to judge? That's a whole... That's not something we can unpack on this show. Okay, alright, now they're getting back to flirting. It's going well. It's good. Better, right? Totally good. I, I mean, I don't want anyone's relationship to be sabotaged on this. Obviously, someone's gonna have to go home. But I'm not rooting for anyone to go home, specifically. I genuinely have no no idea at this point. It's straight up anyone's game. So many of them are flirting, so why is Delphine embarrassed? Oh, from self-failure. <laughs> oh, and, and Reagan's all confident, right? Okay. They turn this conversation around. I'm really glad to see that. Because perhaps that means that they're working on some of their communication issues. Perhaps that's a better sign for them moving forward. Can't go on too strong, exactly. Time and time again, it has been proven that Devante is not a big fan of when people come on really strong with him. Oh, okay, it's 8 p.m. And I, I don't always send him to his quarters at 8 p.m. But it's gone really well today. It's not like we need extra time to compensate for the game lagging and shit. We've done okay, so I'm gonna send him away. Stop talking to Regan. You're gonna head to your your private quarters here, Devante. Good work today. You did a good job. Oh, what's happening? What were we what were we about to do in the sauna? <laughs> As he yeets out of there. Okay, there you go. That is that is it for our mingle day, man. And 
Now we fast forward through the night, and since everyone's going on the group date tomorrow, I'm not too worried about getting through everyone's, not getting through everyone's whims on the mingle day. We will get through some more of these whims um, as they're out on the group date, which will be largely similar to today, just not in the house. <laughs> oh, I wanted to read Haley's buff because it was some cute little heart thing that made her flirty. That was that was sweet. Son of bitch. I assume you're making a pun, Oni, but I'm really tired today, so that's probably the reason I'm not picking up on what it means. Yeah, also, I'm fucking exhausted today, if, if you notice any, I don't know, lack of energy or anything. It's because I don't have any. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, you messed that up. Okay. So it was your fault. See, I was fully ready to take the blame and put it on myself, Oni. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Reset the puns. Perfect. I never remember to do that at the end of streams. Uh, I'm going to save real quick, and then I'm going to go tally the scores and fast forward through as much of the night um, as I can while, while I tally up the scores real quick, and then um, I'll be right back for, for our group date, and we'll figure out who's going to be going on the one-on-one, -on -one. but you won't know that until we get to that date. Having difficulties typing on this device. All good, Oni. I totally get it. You are fine, hun. But for now, we're gonna take a very short commercial break. It seriously shouldn't be more than like maybe two minutes. It's really only gonna be a minute or two this time. And then we will be right back, so stay tuned. I told you it was gonna be a real fucking quick one. There's only five of them left. It does not take long to tally scores. <laughs> but hey, Robin, I saw that you said you're doing D&D &D things, so you just uh, stopping in, but hope you're having lots of fun and thanks for stopping in and saying hey. Be sure to join in later if you're around at any point, but if not, all good, obviously. Love having you here, of course, though. And I love you very much. Oh, did I unmute? I did. Okay, there we go. Everyone's using the bathroom, which is good. They're taking care of their knees. Bless them. <laughs> so yes, I have our, our scores all tallied. You know, who's going on the one-on-one -on -one date, at least. Not super important for the group date, since all of them are going. It's interesting, everyone's everyone's doing well-ish, you know. Pop back in later because we gotta talk more insatiable. Oh god. <laughs> Should you write? Um, I implore you all to watch Insatiable. <laughs> that's your next homework. I don't think any of you watched Unreal. That's fine. You didn't complete your first homework assignment. Your next homework is to watch Insatiable because um I don't know if it's good. <laughs> I don't know. And I need more input. Um, I think it's fantastic and I love it. It's a wonderful show, but I don't know if it's a good show. You know what I mean? And I know that's hard to understand what I mean until you watch it. But regardless, um, oh my god, please no. It's a fucking fun ride. It's wild, it's crazy, it goes off the rails, and it's, it's a fun watch, for sure. Nope, nope to watching it, Marty. Look, if y'all have heard shit about it being, like, offensive, it's really not that bad. And I think people miss the point of a lot of things. <laughs> um, and because it doesn't take itself too seriously, I don't think it's that bad of a show, honestly, even though it's absolutely insane and it's so hard to explain anything on that show unless you just watch it. I think it's fun, though. I had a good time binging through it. <laughs> okay. Where? Okay, Reagan's still in the- why is everyone on the toilet right now? This is a weird conspiracy. He's a fan of offending people. God, absolutely not, Oni. This is- f do not twist my words. <laughs> I genuinely don't understand why, um... I've been too busy and I don't think I get it yet. I still haven't watched the first show you said to watch. Oh, you all good. Unreal is a genuinely really fucking good show. Um, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I just kicked the desk. I don't really understand why people say Insatiable is like crazy and offensive. I don't think anyone watched it who's saying those things, to be honest. 
All right, why is, I'm gonna pause it for a second and let them stop using the bathroom. What's happening? Yeah, Unreal is legit good. Unreal is so good. I'm just gonna write down everyone's names for the group date here because I or realized I hadn't yet. Oh, I see that Haley's sad. Why is she sad? Is it just because she's gloomy? A little gloomy sin. Yeah. Poor thing. Protect her. <laughs> If you're all uncomfortable, then go eat. Why did everyone suddenly stop working? What happened in the interim? Don't mind me as I casually just reset everyone real quick. Jesus Christ. Also, I really couldn't remember some people's last names earlier. I don't remember why I was trying to go through it. Oh, because I was putting up um, Rosabelle on the sim download sheet which yeah if you didn't know and if you have the sims um i have a google doc it's pinned in the sims 4 bachelor channel in my discord and there's links to download everyone who goes home on the gallery as well as links to where all of their custom content comes from if you want them to look exactly like they look in the game uh, so download links in and such are available if you should want them but I like couldn't remember Roosevelt's last name <laughs> I know a handful of them all the ones that I just did without looking at their names and with how much I have to reset people you'd think I'd remember them better but I really don't hers is Burleson right there we go I'm gonna work again. Say she was super weird and has yikes parts, but acknowledges it. Exactly. No, that's why it's like never phrased in the tone of like you're supposed to agree with yikes parts. It satirizes a lot of stuff, and a lot of the criticisms I see about it are being fat phobic, but the whole point is to discuss our society's obsession with weight and the like damaging psychological impact it can have on uh, young girls growing up <laughs> our obsession as a culture with being skinny it's not if you think the show is about if you lose a bunch of weight you become popular and successful that's not what it's about <laughs> and you didn't watch the show you just read the summary which is very inaccurate to what actually starts happening. All right, everyone is just standing around now. I don't know why. They were all just working, right? Like, I don't know what happened. Nothing happened. Besides me teleporting Devante, can I not teleport Sims anymore without it breaking? Is that what the problem is? Maybe I'll have to make it so only he can... Like, lock the door for only everyone except for him, and then just let him walk through. We'll try that next time and see if that doesn't break them. If we just super fast forward through time, though, we're heading on a group date at noon. Which, the group date, we're going to be going to... We're going to be going hiking. I can't really make Sims hike, but we're going to go to, you know, a little outdoorsy hiking area. Um, we're going to be going to the Granite Falls Forest to do so, and... If the sims start running around and such, we'll, we'll count that as hiking. <laughs> Mainly just to have them hang out in the great outdoors, you know. Experience the land. Oh, and it's fall. There we go. Colder weather is on us, hopefully. Yes, it's cold today. Good. So I wanted to put them in the fucking the cold weather wear outfits for the date. Isn't hugging in the sims, just walking outside. <laughs> pretty much. I mean, it's a very pretty place to go hiking. I've not really explored this place that much because I've not done a lot of camping and things. Is this man homeless? Or just a camper? 
Maybe we'll run into some of our, our previous contestants. You never know, you know. Oh, that's where we're going for the one-on-one -on -one date. We don't need to see that yet. Okay, that's the only person out here. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Oh, gosh, it's almost Tuesday's birthday, is it? Oh, Lord. Wait, she's going to become an elder. Oh, my God. Wait a second. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They were not just... Didn't we just check this the other day and I saw that, like, she still had half of her lifespan left? She's not about to be an elder. We're gonna cheat that back because I think something fucked up. There's no way that she's that close to being an elder yet. I'm 99% confident. I remember seeing that she was only halfway into her uh, life. Into her adult life meter <laughs> last time I checked. How do I do this again? Is it in cheats? I said age. It wasn't here. Okay. So we're just gonna bump her back to 15 days. We're just... Nope. Back to like halfway into her age span. About where I thought it was. Because that is ridiculous. Okay. Why is there... What are these noises happening in the background? Devante, just take care of yourself. God damn, dude. There we go. See, Reagan's making some food. Sims, you're trying me. You're working fine. Reagan demonstrating how she can pound meat over here. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, he's a woohoo designer and had a good dream, though. He apparently slept standing up. Maybe he had a, a certain kind of dream, seeing how he woke up. Okay, Reagan, you better hurry up with that food. We're heading out in like an hour, sweetie. And if you don't eat this after you made it, you're getting evicted. <laughs> if anyone starts a fire, they're just getting eliminated at this point. <laughs> Not to be harsh, but like, we don't have the production budget left. Don't look at the household funds. Johanna, please. <laughs> Okay. And as everyone's doing awfully for some goddamn reason, even though they've been fine lately and Sims was fine, um, it's basically noon. Two, one. There we go. Noon. Let's head out hiking. <laughs> Tuesday start a fire. It'll be great for the ratings. <gasps> Oni, how dare you? Are you trying to sabotage Tuesday? Okay. Is this? Yes. Here's the Granite Falls Forest. We're going to head over here for our group date. We're going to take the whole house um I don't want you to see where these relationships are that are at even though you probably just got a little glimpse but since we're getting down to it I'm trying to make it a little more vague oh gosh I'm gonna have to fix the ratio again real quick there we go okay And I'll put them in their cold weather wear outfits, so a little variety in their looks, you know. And let them do as they please. We'll take care of the rest of the wins that we didn't get to with people on this date. I'm gonna say for this one, because I was gonna say, as always, let me know if there's anyone you want to specifically see interactions with, but I'm gonna hold off on that. We're gonna see how much autonomy happens and how much these wins sort of push things along in the game. 
directs it because I don't want to direct it too much. It's only if, like, nothing seems to be happening and Devante doesn't seem to be having a strong desire to talk with anyone. We'll wait off until that happens. For help from y'all and who should be getting the attention, you know. Devante needs to be figuring out who he feels the strongest for in his heart on his own at this point. It's time to become a man. Not a, not a boy <laughs> looking for love. Alright, let's put it on. Oh, I don't know if I can... I don't know that I have a lot trait actually for cold weather wear. No, I don't. Okay. We're just gonna change their outfits real quick. In a way that's hopefully not too tedious. I'm not gonna like pause it and make them not do anything. We're just gonna gradually kinda go through people. Change their outfits and fix their needs real quick. My goodness. Yeah, especially since everyone's doing awfully for some reason. Just think get the hell up. Oh, <laughs> Rosabelle texting us. Poor thing. I low-key miss Rosabelle. I did really like her. I was really expecting her to maybe make it to, like, final three. I didn't know if she would win. I wasn't really expecting her to win, but... Like, I don't play favorites. I don't... I obviously don't cater to people that, like, I personally like. I mean, Rosabelle went home and she was one of my favorites. But I was really pulling for her. I was hoping she was going to do well when I first made her because I, I thought she was a really cool looking sim. I don't know. I feel like I want to do something with some of my my favorites that have emerged from the show. Whether that's on stream or just something in a personal game. Maybe, you know what, I'll probably put... I was thinking about this the other day too and it just came back to me. I think I'm going to probably put a lot of these people, especially some of our favorites in our 100 baby save and we can have some babies with them for our 100 baby challenge. I think that'd be fun. Some of our losers and hey, maybe even Marcus and the winner. We can break them up in an alternate universe on stream. <laughs> okay, there we go. Since we never really see their cold weather wear. This is pretty much the cold weather wear that I've given them since the start. Save Delphine, I think. I think she's the only one I changed just because it was not very hiking or hanging out in the outdoors e appropriate. Um, we never see their cold weather though because it's been sweltering summer the entire show. Let them do what they want though. A little Haley playing some chess. Oh my god, oh. There's like a whole little lodge over here. Oh well that's good. That's good that there's an indoor area for Haley to not die in. If she's gonna be hanging out. She got her umbrella though. She's good. She's Gucci. Alright, Tuesday does not have any wins. Delphine, get up. Why are you- Oh, I didn't bump her energy up. Whoops. That's fine. Okay, let's go down the list. Alright, oh, Johanna and Devante both want to embrace each other. Oh, I was thinking about Reagan though. Oh, he's going straight up to Reagan and talking to her. I'm going to just casually send Tuesday and Delphine over to the lodge as well. I have a feeling that they're going to just end up sort of hanging out around the building and not exploring the great outdoors. Um, which is not surprising and also a huge mood. So, oh, be jealous, goddammit. You two don't already be jealous. He's literally just- wait a second, hold on. I'm gonna send Delphine over here as well, but like... Here, Tuesday, you sit in the other chair. If she's being jealous, he's not doing anything right now. He's just hugging Reagan. That's it's not even a romantic hug or an embrace. It's just a friendly hug. Relax, my girl. Oof. Oh, never mind. I see. I see why she was being jealous. That's Reagan, though. That's Reagan's problem. Delphine, go away. Don't. Just go. Oh my god. Stop and go. I don't want to cancel his autonomy with Reagan. Oh, she left, though. Woof. That was kind of a rough uh, time there. How? Oh, Tuesday's, like, not all sad and shit, though. I guess I'll leave it for uh -huh. Delphine, though, since I probably wasn't going to do her whim anyways, because it's just have sex with him. Like, it's a little intense. 
Rika still wants to kiss him, but like, I didn't go well. We're gonna leave them chilled out for a minute. Johanna and him want to embrace each other, so let's bring Devante over here. She's kind of sitting and reading on her own. Oh, wait, okay. I keep almost, and then he keeps doing autonomous stuff with other people, and I don't want to ruin that. Yes, autonomously talk to Haley. There you go. She's trying to have ditched him in the woods, right? That was harsh. I don't know what happened there. Oh, excuse. Oh, you can't see the relationship bar. Um, so you know how it like shows the sims that you're talking to and then if other people join the conversation, the other silhouette pops up? Yep, that, that's what popped up in the, in the conversation bar up here. Um, <laughs> excuse me. And thus Devante's secret furry kink was unlocked. Oh my god, excuse me? What's happening? No. Mm. A part of me wants to let it happen, but wait, why are you tense? Unbearable from a nearby bear. <laughs> no sim likes being around deadly animals, but this bear seems more annoying than threatening. Is it an actual bear? It's not a bear. Is that person just wandering the woods in a bear costume? I think so, which is like kind of iconic to be completely honest. Fine, I'll let them have sex if they're gonna go do it privately. I just didn't want it to <laughs> happen in front of everyone. Um, unless... Oh, okay, she is joining. Fine, do what you want. Devante left her in the woods with a bear. Hey, maybe he figures like she's a vampire. She's probably tougher than I am anyways. Oh my god, Joe. Okay. I'm not gonna let that go on too long, but fine. <laughs> I guess. Delphina's all sad. I'm hoping that didn't fuck up their relationship too much. I was really trying to like make them not see that. I'm beginning to think that Devante ain't good enough for any of these ladies. Right. Things were really kind of kind of cold for a, a while. Just building friendships. Which is, is valid. You know, you want to get to know the person first before you just start throwing the moves on. But like, everyone wants him now, man. Okay, that's- it's already been about an hour in, like, Sims time. <laughs> let's- let's stop this. Oh my god. Okay, ew. Oh, there were just some sounds happening. Oh, and they're still chatting after, okay. It better not be, like, the one with the rose about where you start arguing. No, they're still flirting, okay. They've really gotten a lot closer lately, too. I mean, I was all talking about Tuesday, but, like... Okay, Devante, please put your clothes on. She's so regu. Okay. Once this conversation kind of comes to an end, then I'll have him go. Embrace Johanna. Hopefully that goes well. Delphine, I just <laughs> the two that saw Reagan try and kiss him, and we're gonna be all jealous. They're just kind of stewing outside on the stumps. Ooh, ew! I hate nature. That was a gross bird sound. I didn't like it. Damn, these two are like really vibing. Duh. Haley might have a stronger shot than we all thought at the beginning. I was calling her the Dark Horse from like a long time ago. Blow kiss, blow kiss. And that's a lot of blowing kisses. Nope, okay, nope. No, no, no. Y'all need to relax. Oh, camera help. Listen to melancholy thoughts. Oh, wait, no, that's actually really sweet because she is like a gloomy Sam, and like she's kind of opening up to him about, you know, how she feels sad a lot, maybe like some of her depression and stuff. That's kind of sweet and like intimate. I don't know why we can't hear them talking. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this conversation just because. Um, the the cameras are not happy with them being upstairs. <laughs> Joanna's still reading by herself. Let's go talk to her. Oh, was Reagan giving herself a pep talk in the mirror? <laughs> Poor thing. 
Is Haley a dark horse or a pale horse? <laughs> Fair, fair point. Okay, Devante, that's a little much. You can take a step back, buddy. Alright, try embracing her. You would think that wouldn't be that big a deal for them. They've gone, like, real far. Remember that one-on-one -on -one date at the spa? Things have been much rockier between them since that date, though. Oh my god, help. Sims, please. Oh, I don't want... Yeah, go take the trash out or whatever. I really don't want Haley to see him <laughs> embrace Joanna right after they just had sex in the hallway. <laughs> that would, like, break her heart. That'd be really sad. Okay, oh my god. we go thank you I'm gonna count this as the embrace for both of them I'm not gonna do two like one directed from each of them this is gonna count for both their wins if it happens I'm hoping this isn't coming on too strong immediately and ruins things since they both want it hopefully it's all good oh yes yes it worked okay good that went well perfect okay we will get rid of that win from each of them then Oh, well, he has another one about her. I'll go read that in a second. So I'm gonna make sure we get rid of her win, too. Okay. I must be friendly with her. Oh, sweet. Okay, that's cute. Joanna really does have style. She does. Now I'm into Johanna's look. Oh, cute. Tempting a little mistletoe kiss. Adorable. The dialogue audio just has gotten really quiet for some reason. I don't know what happened. Um, that's going love life. Sure, maybe they're kind of talk about some of their past relationships and such. That works. Cute, right? I mean, I know she's your fave. Not to like out where the one vote from for Johanna came from, but how are you guys? I listened to joke? Okay. Oh, he wants to kiss her! Okay, yes, we can do that, for sure. As our date's kind of rounding out here. Oh, has to be girlfriend, damn. That's intense. I hate the, like, moaning noises that the Sims do when, like, flirty interactions come up. Where did Haley go, actually? Is she okay? <laughs> oh, why are you both taking out trash? What's happened? <laughs> hey bitches hey my sir Impala welcome welcome to our bachelor stream you're catching us right near the end of the group date um, in just a minute we're gonna choose someone from the group date to spend some one on one time with and hopefully get a rose at the end of that time oh passionate kiss my goodness okay That was intense. Oh, we had another one about it. God. Girlfriend? That's not happening yet. <laughs> um, he always has so many moments about Johanna. I think that does say something that she's like constantly on his mind. What are you telling him? Oh my god. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna stop this before it gets too bad. It is pretty much 8 p.m. Anyways, which means it is... Um, Time to end the group date and check the scores and see who's going to be getting a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time with him uh, to hang out and hopefully get the rose. Um, I'm going to, um, if the person who has the highest as the one who's getting a one-on-one -on -one date tomorrow, we're going to be doing the second highest. <laughs> so that way someone doesn't have like a ton of one-on-one -on -one time and then we only have one rose before the ceremony. You know what I mean? So we're going to fudge it a tiny bit. Um, makeup is on fire. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. That's very sweet. Um, I have played with university a little bit. I'm not done a ton yet. Um, I did a university stream, I think, last Saturday. It should be archived. And I should be playing a little bit more with university specifically on stream sometime in December. I haven't decided a day yet. But, um, if I don't 
here. I'll do it because I don't know if God's still at his computer. There's a link to my Discord if you want to um, join. There are stream schedules in there, and my December schedule will be up on December 1st. Uh, as far as when another university stream will be around, if you'd like to join for that. But for now, let's switch to the screen so y'all can't see the scores. You may speculate if you'd like about who you think might be getting the one on one time. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Some scores have changed after this group date, for sure. Now, I'm only going off a romantic bar just for seeing who's going to get some one-on-one time after the group date. We'll do combined scores for the rose ceremony later and such. But who's the hell? Okay. Oh, you are around for a bit. Like, I know you weren't leaving for work yet, Gob. I just didn't know if you were still at your computer, you know? Woof. Somewhat eventful. Um. What? Eventful group date. What am I... <laughs> I can't talk today. I've been running on like five hours of sleep all week. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, so. Interesting, okay, let's get back to the stream. Oh, I should really do that um, through studio mode, <laughs> not just clicking on the screen. So don't have to keep resetting the ratio. Sleep is very good. I'm hopefully going to get caught up on sleep tonight. That is my plan. I'm going to start sending some people home, though. Uh, and leave Haley around, because Haley's going to be getting a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time today uh, after our group date. I think she really did make an impression on this group date. They were talking autonomously for most of it. I mean, I pretty much only had to... He only kept talking to Johanna, because I had them follow some whims and start talking. Um... Let's bring Haley inside as everyone's kind of leaving, and then let's have them like stargaze or something. I think that'd be cute. And if conversation goes from there, then we can roll with it. Oh, there's like a little rainbow. Well, this is pretty. <laughs> Good dicking. <laughs> get it, Haley, right? No, I mean, Haley did get it earlier, so. <laughs> You know what? We'll we'll see what happens during their time alone, though. I guess I won't stop them. Uh, they have till midnight to hang out, so I don't really think we have to worry about her getting a rose or not. But fuck off, Luna. I don't. Ew. Do how do we even know Luna Villarreal? Like, have we spoken to her ever? I don't. <laughs> Gross. Get out of here. <laughs> Ew. Um. Let's invite to stay the night. You live in the same household. I don't. Sims, you're dumb. Let's go do some stargazing just to to hang out a bit. Delphine, go! I know you're like all sad and upset because you saw him trying to kiss someone else, but like, go. Oh, because she can't. Oh my god, ew, ew, why is the bear just like lurking in the shadows? That's so disgusting and upsetting. I don't like it. Oh, help. That's a different one, too, ew. <laughs> Sims are strange and I hate this them. Ah. Jesus Christ, okay. We'll watch them do some cute stargazing, though. Duh. <laughs> By the way, I'm obsessed with this Sims 2 series called On the Focus, so good. Oh, nice! I haven't heard of that. I haven't looked at it. Is it like a Machinima series on YouTube? It's what I'm assuming you mean by Sims 2 series, but... Oh my god, I haven't watched Sims Machinima in so long. I should go check it out, though. I used to watch a ton back in the day. Okay, let's get a little closer. They're cute. <laughs> Petal Bear, right? Oh, it's been a minute since I heard about Petal Bear, too. Everyone used to reference that constantly. Look, y'all know I've always been sweet on Haley since the start, even though she's just started doing good in the competition, really, but... This is cute. This is a nice little time. Can we can we really see any stars? Are there, are there any stars out? <laughs> Bitch, nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
You can make, look, Devante, this is your fucking opener, dude, to make some kind of cheesy-ass remark to her about the, the stars are in your eyes or something. I don't know. What do romantic people say to each other? <laughs> it's a voiceover series in season two. Oh, cool. Okay. I will try to keep that in mind. Maybe check that out soon. Um, most of my time not streaming is spent doing homework right now because <laughs> college kid, finals time. My life is um, a busy uh, stress case right now. But I totally love to check that out. It sounds good. <laughs> good question. Yeah. Yeah, see, inspired by the stars. Shut the fuck up. Y'all fake it. I'm going to stop them from stargazing, though, because... Like, half of their daytime is over. Oh, she wants to be funny with him. We can do that. Um, I'd like for you guys to both maybe go inside where there's more lighting. But we can totally have you go be- Oh, wait, go here together. It's only the two of you now. That should be fine. Gotta go to work -y. Okay, guys, all good. Obviously. <laughs> um, which means I'll probably set them to have a little conversation and then- I'll, I'll leave the game playing, but then I'll head out for just a second to go lock the door behind Gavriel as he heads to work. Um, oh, Devante, buddy, you're not doing well. Just for the purposes of the date, we will bump those up a bit. Hey, that girl, where the- Stop trying to deal with the trash! Oh my god. That's not your job, ma'am. There are forest rangers and things? I don't- Do forest rangers deal with trash in the forest? Is that how that works? Do you know? Um... <laughs> That's not really their um, job. Make a vampire pot, I'm sure. turning into their job. <laughs> Her this planet is, is a garbage fire. They're supposed the to stop people from littering. What the fuck is she talking about? Yeah, It's not true. really their jobs to pick up the trash, but they do, I think. You're probably right. Sorry, did you, if y'all didn't see the, that pun that she made him, that's so cute. How do vampire what? How do vampires flirt by batting their eyes? That's really cute, actually. Adorable. <laughs> I love that. Wow. I don't. This is a hella awkward conversation. What are we doing? Sit next to each other, you fucking nerds. Ew. Sit and chat here, please. That's amazing, right? I figured you'd appreciate that, Oni. That's a good one. That's damn good. Okay, oh. Okay, we're getting a little flirty again. Oh, they are vibing so much lately. No, he was complimenting her. Relax. Discussing lo local fishing spots. Gotta get them fish facts in for the night, you know? A new type of perch, nice. Wash hands? Sure. Oh, oh my god, excuse me. Oh, I guess we're real comfortable with each other at that point. I guess that's a good sign, you know? Um, okay. You ready to go? Yeah, okay. yeah. Should I leave them then and lock the door or do the rose give her a rose first? You can give her a rose first. Okay. We'll go with that then. Since it is midnight, we'll end the date here. Um, and send them home real quick first. Uh Haley, stop reading. Oh my god. It is not your guys' job take care of the care of the trash. Fucking relax. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. There's a lot of things happening. Why is he angry? Oh moody. Okay, I'm getting rid of that. Slice of life, calm down. <laughs> it's not the time. <laughs> Poor thing's feeling insecure. Well, hopefully. We can calm some of them nerves and give her a rose because obviously after that lovely little time together, they had a great time on the group date, lovely little time talking one-on-one. -on -one. Obviously, Haley's going to receive a rose and be safe for the week, which means she's in the top four. Oh. Haley's going to hometowns, you guys. I don't know if any of us expected it from the beginning, but I don't think it's too much of a shock at this point. Like, she's really been working. She's been putting in work and rising I'm in the ranks. very excited to see Haley's family. <laughs> Me too. Because I haven't one them yet. human around there. Just be very intimidating, I think, to meet a family of vampires. Yeah. But. Okay, we will give her a rose. There you go, Haley. Take your safety for the week. Look at you. Okay. And we're going to send them home now. So, oh, okay. All right. A little hug. I mean, I appreciate it. I don't... 
Okay, nope, no, 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 nope, nope. Let you fuck earlier. The date is over. <laughs> go home. Haley, go the fuck home. Okay. And so as to not have any unsolicited time with Devante hanging with the ladies, I'm not gonna send him home yet. I'm gonna, um, we're gonna let him do something. You know what? Go try and play guitar really badly. I'm kind of, I'm just, I'm genuinely nervous about this episode. Like, I don't know who's gonna go home. I'm really fucking nervous about it. I'm hoping we're gonna need to get a lot of interacting and stuff in at the party. I'm probably going to at least try and throw a flirt at everyone at the party to give them all a fighting chance to like let the conversation flow and stuff, you know? And I'm happy, I'm happy with who got <laughs> the, the one-on-one date. I think it should be good, maybe repair some things that have happened the past few weeks. I think it narratively makes sense. That's another thing that Gob and I were kind of talking about off stream. We talk about this a lot off stream actually <laughs> um i'm too invested in it but a lot of the things that have just autonomously been happening oh dauphine's in the pool nice good use this gorgeous pool while we have it a lot of the things that have just sort of happened naturally in the game do sort of narratively make sense and sort of sort of these archetypes for these people like all of the contestants and kind of how they probably would react have sort of emerged and I think that's that's fun and interesting. <laughs> I'm really glad with how that's shaked out, actually. Who? Who? Mm -mm -mm. Ma'am? I'm sorry, ma'am. You have to submit an application and go through a very rigorous uh, approval process. If you want to be on The Bachelor, you can't just show up to the house. Sorry. Goodbye. Thanks. It's gonna be a shame when Reagan goes home tonight. Oni, please. You can't just speak it into existence like that. I don't know, I feel like something might be a surprise, maybe? I don't know. Again, all of them are gonna be a blind side at this point. Rosebell was kind of a blind side last night. Even if I sort of saw it coming, the closer we got to the rose ceremony, the more that week went on. But if you would have told me like two weeks before that, I never would have believed you. Um, poor little Delphine is all sad. I'm gonna actually get rid of this moodlet um, of the, the jealousy thing just because I don't want her to be miserable all week. I'd like her to actually have positive interactions with him when we have our little bonfire party. Which will probably just kind of generally be in the house. I'll try and keep them outside and around the bonfire at least. Um, or maybe we'll have our conversations out at these little benches and talking areas to hang out outside some more. Yeah, we'll do that once we reach the party. Which isn't until tomorrow, though. We still have a one on one date to get to. Don't need to jump the gun yet. Does Reagan. Reagan still wants to kiss him, doesn't she? Okay. We'll try it again at the party. We'll see. So if someone's to have sex with him, I guess we can do Since it's like her only whim about him, we can do it at the party, I guess. <laughs> I'll at least have them talk to each other. Again, I'll give everyone one free flirt at the party. I'll be nice to them. Uh, and see how that goes and see where conversation goes from there. I can't speak it into existence. I can bribe Devante, though. Can you? <laughs> I can't believe Oni's gonna hijack my game and bribe Devante into doing the results he wants. I'd genuinely just be impressed at that point, so honestly, kudos, go for it. Oh my god, that woman just disappeared. There's some interesting looks happening on the randos over here, okay. Devante, go to bed, man! I give you a bed for a reason. I put beds in these houses, and no one ever sleeps. Which is mood, but come on, y'all. Do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, oh my god, I'll help you out fine. 
Let's check in on everyone. Haley's still kind of just chilling on the computer here. Reagan's playing some chess. She's been beefing up on her logic skills. Delphina's been um, clearing her mind and swimming all night. That's that's gonna be my rationale for getting rid of her jealous buff. She's been swimming and clearing her mind and you know giving a long hard thought to the competition. And so she's gotten over it. She just you know didn't realize just how much she really cared about Devante until she got that jealous about it, about seeing with someone else. So Johanna wants to have sex with them now. He doesn't have any ones about people. Tuesday doesn't have any right now. Nope, still not. Okay. Let's see if Devante gets any. He lost his flirty mood. Am I right about Reagan? Yard? <laughs> One of the only times my thoughts given a direct answer. Is that a sign that Reagan is going? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. We only know it's not Haley. That's our only guarantee. Okay, we're just gonna really fast forward through your spectacularly unhelpful night thought. That's so rude. That was kind of helpful. I was looking around to see if it was still near me. I don't... Oh, it's way over on the table. I'm not gonna get up and grab that. But I got like an Archie McPhee catalog in the mail, which I usually get around the holiday times for... Christmas presents and shit, but there's like a product in there that's an answer button, and like you smash it and it gives you a random answer. It's basically like the the GG button or the yes button, but Magic Eight Ball basically. And I'm like, I need that for stream. I want like a I need a physical button when we have these questions so we can ask a night button, then I can hit the button and see if we get an actual answer back from it. And I was kind of kidding when I said that to God, but the more I think about it, the more it's not a bad idea, and part of me does want to actually do that. Okay. Well, fast forward to the last sim half hour here. There's a command to be nice tonight, Bob, but I won't use it till it gives me a real answer. That's fair, Oni. It feels like a little bit like you're withholding love until night, but that's what you want, which is questionable. But it doesn't have feelings, so go for it. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> We need to pay the bills, so you know what? I'm going to pause and pay the bills real quick, and then we'll be headed out to our one-on-one -on -one date. We're going to be going to um, some hot springs for our one-on-one -on -one date. Um, the official lot name is the Ranger Stanley Hot Tubs, and our one-on-one -on -one date is going to be with Johanna, which wouldn't have been the biggest deal back in the day, but they've kind of had some rough patches. They really did seem to get along uh, better at that group date there, but... Ugh. Stupid Sims. Um, but after the mingle day, she was still kind of right in the middle there, so the one-on-one -on -one date will be with her. Gonna get started a little bit late just because we need to pay some stupid bills. Come on, buddy. There you go. All right. Now let's head out to the hot springs. I'm also a bad person. Oni, please. <laughs> You're a wonderful person. We're all a little bad sometimes. <laughs> Sounded more sexual than I meant. Hopefully y'all didn't see those too much. <laughs> Forgot I wanted to cover that when we... I could have closed out. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. relationship ours. Even though right now it's not like too big of a spoiler, we have we have a whole party still, we have a whole bonfire. Things could change. A lot of things could change. But we will have a little hot tub date with Johanna real quick. I'll probably still end it around 8 p.m. in some time just because we don't need to spend a ton of time hanging out here. We'll get to the party and rose ceremony. I think we'll probably end a little earlier than we usually do for Bachelor. Not purposely, it's we're making good time tonight, which is fine with me. Again, exhausted, so 
Oh, thank you for the lovely command, Marty. Very sweet. I don't have more homework to do tonight. I'm all, I'm all good, but I need some, like, chillax in time, you know? Did I dab? I lightly dab, um, ironically. <laughs> I only dab ironically. Okay, stop being all angry, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, she wanted to have sex with him, right? Okay. Well, let's see. I mean, we're at the hot springs. We might as well... Join her in a hot tub. <laughs> Joanna always gets the one-on-one dates with hot tubs, apparently, but... Let's go in, like, one of these little private rooms over here. Get in together. Go ahead, y'all. I was gonna leave. Oni, that's rude. <laughs> Ew, I would never genuinely dab, though. I'm not Godfrey-el. <laughs> um, Devante, you might want to... Take your winter coat off. There you go. Oh, they have, like, matching swimsuits. That's kind of huh. cute. Okay. They just still have their island living... Or their island resort <laughs> swimsuits on. I didn't change it. Okay. Oh, you want to light a bonfire? We will do that tomorrow, buddy. They've not really started talking much yet, but, you know. Enjoying each other's company. Oh, oh. Excuse me, y'all. Y'all think you're doing... Oh! Looks like it's time for the kitten appearance of the stream. Hey, Shia. Oh my goodness. Ow. My shoulders are bare tonight. Don't dig in. Help. There we go. Nice hello to stream. <laughs> I love you, kitten. You may cuddle with me later. Oh, God. Okay. Um, sh I guess we should at least start the conversation here, since they're apparently not going to do it by themselves. Ask about day. Reagan's still playing chess? Jesus Christ. Probosferic? Probosferic? Okay. Okay. Just fast forward through most of this conversation. I mean, they're getting along. They're doing. They're doing well. It's nice. Anything else to really do with this place? There's like no bartenders. Can we hire a bartender here? Oh, did, does he have to do that? Why? Sims just put a bartender there, please. Oh, we can do it from the hot tub. Okay, cool. Yes, hire a bartender. Service team is on their way. Swag. We're talking about basketball. Nice. I think this makes sense because, like I was saying, him and Johanna haven't been the, as close as they used to be in the competition. They were real hot and heavy at the beginning, and then they've kind of chilled out lately, and there seems to be a tiny bit of disconnect, so I think, you know did want to take the one-on-one -on -one time this week to really try and repair that relationship see if that that bond is still there that spark because she kept getting like really kind of jealous and sort of possessive about him there we go with them fish facts and i don't think he really loved that quality but clearly <laughs> as she goes cross-eyed the spark is still there. There's still a little something-something between them, to some extent, for sure. Tuesday? I don't know why the hell you here, buddy. Go the fuck home. You were not invited to this date. This is a one-on-one, -on -one, not a two-on-one. I mean, I don't think you want us to make it a two-on-one, -on -one, buddy, so leave. Sims, why is this happening? Ew, she's trying to chat with the bear. Gross. Tuesday? Tuesday, go home, man. I don't... Upsetting. Okay, oh, they are still chatting. 
Tuesday spying on them? Apparently, that's what she wanted to do. Producers fucking caught her ass, though. You don't get to do that and think you can get away with it? Absolutely not. Against the rules, bitch. Anytime I do, like, one interaction between Devante and Johanna, it always sparks, like, hours-long conversation every time. They just get on really well. Talking about them bears. Okay, bartender, like, never showed up. Let's, you know what, let's get out of the hot tub. Let's go... invite Johanna to hang out. At the little campfire over here. Light it. As the sun starts to go down a little- Buddy! This dude. Um, burn money? What the fuck? <laughs> What's happening? Where's Joanna going? Oh. Oh, that was cute. Oh, that was really cute, actually. Duh. My little heart. That was a sweet little autonomous reaction. I liked that a lot. Um, you know what? Since uh, Tuesday, go away, bitch. What the fuck? Literally, what's happening, Sims? <laughs> okay, don't get in the hot tub, please. Why don't you, since uh, McSalad just never showed up, why don't you make some drinks for... Make drinks for both of you guys. Make a couple vodka sodas for you. Both of you. I think that'd be cute. The bear is back. <laughs> I know, right? Stupid bears. But Tuesday doesn't walk her ass home. What is she wearing, too? That's not any outfit that I gave her. Okay, there we go. How good is this drink? Is it really bad? Johanna, you can be honest if it's bad. You can roast your man if you need. Like, it's fine. There we go. Why don't you sit next to her? Who's? There's a homeless sim here, too. A nice little drink together. They've not, like, consistently been talking the rest of the time, but I think that's fine. I think that's a good sign that they can kind of enjoy each other's silence, you know, and just be comfortable in that space together. Oh my gosh, and it's already, like, 8 p.m. This date went really fast. <laughs> Which is fine, though. I'm gonna fast forward. We'll, we'll leave it till 9, since we got started a little late, you know. Uh, see if they talk to each other at all. Oh my god. These sims. Um, okay. It's basically 9 p.m. <laughs> All good, though. I think that was a plenty lovely date. Um, she for sure deserves a rose and a place of safety. So, Johanna, you don't have to sit there too worried um, about your place like you have had to be the last couple nights. You know, she really had... Uh, two weeks ago was real rough being in the bottom two and all. And then... Um, Last week, you know, she was she's kind of in the middle, but she worked her way back up. I think they just had a rough patch for a little bit, but they're definitely still all good. Oh my god, Professor, I'm dying love, Jesus Christ. We don't have the offer rose option just because he's not flirty, but we can give a romantic gift, hopefully. Yeah, give romantic gift, we'll give her a rose. So Johanna's got her rose and got her place of safety for the night. No need to worry, which means Johanna is also in the top four and will be heading to hometown dates. There you go. Take a little rose, girl. And now we head home. What are you gonna do? Oh, stop. She's giving him one back, but stop and go home, please. Go home, damn it. Johanna gave Devante a thoughtful gift along with an expression of love. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. I will always be here for you each and every day. My love for you will continue to grow forever. Oh, Johanna, that's really sweet. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Which means Johanna has professed her love for Devante. But in a less bold way, like a less blatant way than Rosabelle, I feel like. And in a kind of sweeter way and kind of in a reassuring, like, you know, 
even if I was jealous or we had a bit of a rough patch, like, I'm always gonna be here for you, like, I genuinely really care about you type of way. And I think that's really sweet. Like, I love that. Which means Johanna's the second person to say, to drop the L word to Devante. Canonically. That went well, though. We'll see how Devante responds, because that being said, Rosabelle went home the week after she dropped the I love you, so... Was that just too soon? Was he not feeling with Rosabelle? Or is that like a little bit too much pressure before Devante, you know, chooses someone in the end? I guess we'll have to see how that plays out for Johanna. I don't know, man. She's at least safe for this week. My notes about family structures because uh, for for hometowns I'll talk about it a little bit more at the end of the episode but we're doing hometown dates next week which is where Devante gets to meet everyone's families um, of the top four ladies that are left and um, oh no Devante you need to go into sequester buddy uh, as far as as far as making everyone's family goes, I'm not done. Dude, I've done some people's families so far. Um, I'll obviously finish them all before next Friday. But I just went online and found like a random family generator thing to figure out like what what parents and siblings everyone has. So that's all completely randomized as well. Um, their family structures and like how they feel about certain family members and how those family members feel about them. So. There are, there are some fun dynamics to play with, I think, once once we get there. And I've never tried a hometown dates kind of thing either, I'll be completely honest. Here, I'm going to save real quick. Uh, as you may know if you've been here since the start, I did run an old Bachelor series on my Sims blog like a few years ago. I didn't do hometown dates for that though, and I haven't reached that point in my like personal bachelor that I was using to test stuff for this. We've surpassed my tester game at this point. Maybe I'll try and play through that this weekend to see how it goes. But I've never played through hometown dates, so I don't know how well they work out. We're just gonna have to try and see if it goes well. What the fuck? Hello, ma'am. Go away. You know what? I don't I don't care who you are in this in this save. Um, goodbye. Thanks. Stop coming over to our house. Not your place. Some people. Mm, 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 mm. She was carrying trash. She was carrying trash. She was not pregnant. That was not a pregnant belly I saw. It was a trash bag that she was holding in front of her stomach. We're all good. We're in the clear, guys. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Worried me for a minute. Okay, Tuesday, are you like, okay, what's happening? Reagan's made a lot of lovely baked potatoes that are just gonna sit outside yeah. and rot eventually, I'm sure. Nothing going to play some sad darts by herself, poor thing. I'm gonna generally fast forward through the night as usual though, we'll get to um, probably four or so in the afternoon tomorrow and then have a little bonfire party for everyone. And yes, I will send a flirt in everyone's direction that doesn't have a rose yet, so that means I'm not gonna really pay much attention to Johanna and Haley at the party, or not do any directed actions towards them because they already have roses and I don't know if that's gonna be very helpful or fair, you know? Uh, you made this ramen, you better eat it, man. My god. So, Reagan, Delphine, and Tuesday. They're the ones without roses. So one of them is gonna be going home tonight. Oof, that's really scary. That's scary to think about. Oh my god, Reagan! Anyways. <laughs> Yikes. Always feeling insecure, maybe about the the tough decision he has to make tomorrow. I'm sure it gets even rougher on Devante every week too, for sure. As he starts feeling closer, and, you know, getting closer to love with all these women, hundred percent difficult for him as well. Kind of give support to our boy. 
but yes, I want to do one directed flirt and see where the conversation goes with... I said everyone, but I'm just going to do with the three who don't have roses to give them the, the best shot. We don't really need to put in work if people already have roses this week. They're safe, man. They don't need extra help. Oh, she's feeling the love and the romantic gift. Nice. Look at you. Good job, Joanna. I'm glad she's got that reassurance for this week. Hey, baby, baby. Welcome. Welcome back to stream. We're in a little bit of a lull right now. We're kind of going through the night time now. Um, we'll be having a bonfire party with all the ladies tomorrow where they get to mingle with Devante. It's their last chance to make an impression before the rose ceremony where one person will be eliminated, so... They need to get their chat on. Need to crack on. So I'm generally just gonna try and fast forward through most of the night. Which means the Sims are not happy. Sims is not happy when I try and fast forward through things. It starts <laughs> lagging and shit. But I wanna get to tomorrow afternoon. Oh, it's raining. Oh, I hope it's not raining for the <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Hmm. I didn't think about that possibility that it could be torrential downpour when I wanted to have a bonfire party outside. Yeah, I'm not trying to get any of my sims killed by lightning strikes like that, so we're probably gonna um, cheat the weather to be sunny if it's raining tomorrow afternoon when I want a bonfire. Uh, how you doing? Feels good to be back. Good. I'm glad. Glad to see you back. And I am all right. I'm fucking exhausted and stressed out because school it's close to finals time so I'm like mildly out of it I'm really running mainly on caffeine today uh, <laughs> but I'm excited to be doing bachelors I enjoy doing all my streams Johanna honey are you okay what's happening take care of yourself please Jesus Christ uh, I love doing all my streams but bachelor ones are some of my favorites I'm not gonna lie I have a lot of fun doing these bachelor streams on Fridays I think it's a really fun uh, little thing to put together and I like doing some things that are a little bit more produced like I make The Bachelor my type A self enjoys that <laughs> so I'm having fun I'm having a pretty good night I hope you were doing well how are you doing? Haley why is why is Haley been so into like taking out trash lately. What's happening? She tried on the group date. This is the second time she's tried to take out the trash today. Girl, it's fine. We have a maid. You're a contestant on a reality show. You don't need to do housework. This isn't Big Brother. Yet. Rain, rain, go away. Storm again after we leave. That's my favorite nursery rhyme. Oni. Rough couple days, but doing good. I'm sorry I had a rough couple days. I totally understand that. I'm glad you're doing that right now, though. Hopefully we can have fun, you know, keep it a good night for you. Oh my god. Did the lightning storm take out some trees, or were these always down? I don't play in Granite Falls enough, I don't know. Um, oh my god. Ooh. What's happening with this bird? Sims, you okay? Oh wait, we can make it, like, pack my face cam. There you go. <laughs> I'm always stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> wait, is that Priscilla? Oh my god, wait, is Priscilla lurking around? It is. Look at her. So there's one of our previous contestants, Priscilla, who was, um, evicted on the spot for trying to jump our bachelor. Uh, on a group date. Chillin' walking around the campsite. Nice to see you. I always like seeing previous losers from the stream out in the world. I think Haley is a clean person. She just didn't see any point when there was eight people peeing themselves every hour. <laughs> Fair point. Uh, Johanna, honey. Help. <laughs> Help this woman. Okay. Reagan cleaning tea, that's good. I'm glad they're at least taking care of the house, even though, again, we have a maid. They don't need to. Although, wait, do we? Did our maid 
leave because I thought she tracked to whatever house he moved to. But um, where's the bitch been the past couple days? I ain't seen her. So weird that the woodpecker hitting her made a hollow sound. That is so fucking rude, Oni. How dare you? I'm gonna time you out <laughs> for harassing the streamer. <laughs> no, that's valid. My my brain is dead from this week, so it's it's died and gone away. It's evicted the building for this weekend. Johanna, why don't you get up though? I'm gonna boost everyone's needs real quick because it's it's the afternoon. The rest of the night really kind of flew by, which is good. We're going to fill their needs, and we're going to get everyone out to the bonfire. Let's turn Atomi off real quick so that they don't make me lose my mind trying to walk back into the house. Turn Atomi off. Get people out here, and then we'll get them into their party wear and start a little bonfire. We'll do all the girls first because they'll be easier to get out than Devante, so I don't have to unlock the door yet. Um, we'll start a little bonfire party for the night, so this is where the ladies can mingle again. It's going to be their last chance to talk to Devante and make an impression before their rose ceremony to make sure they get that safety. It's very important at this point. Haley and Johanna already got roses. They don't need to worry. The rest of y'all, though, need to put in some goddamn work to make sure that you're heading to hometown dates. We'll unlock that door and bring Devante out here as well. Who are we missing? There's someone missing. Tuesday. Hello, ma'am. Get out here. She hasn't made it in in the past few days. Bad. I don't. I don't know if you can add puns to the pun counter only, or if that's mod only, but. All right, we're gonna lock all the- oh, there's so many doors to the inside, why? Um, we're gonna lock these doors real quick so that no one can go inside. I want them all hanging out by the bonfire out here. Why are there double doors? Like, they look aesthetically nice. Whoever built this house, gorgeous, beautiful, love it, incredibly talented. Um, double doors are making my life more difficult right now. Oh, there we go. Good. <laughs> you need to document your sins, Oni. We can't let that slide. Tuesday, where the hell are you? Literally. Or did I just lock her in on accident? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's unlock this one. And get her to come downstairs. Hurry up, girl. Why can't you move? Oh my god, I hate the sims sometimes. They're so irritating. Nope. Can you do it now? Girl, I swear. Okay, what's the issue? Okay, she can go there. Did you not walk downstairs for some reason? Did you break your legs? Can you not go down the stairs? Alright, fine. Teleporting Sims seems to be a bit of an issue, but I'm gonna have to teleport her out here. And then I'm gonna have to be tedious for a second and reset everyone. So, sorry for the minor inconvenience and technical difficulties. My presence is punishing. It is Oni just for that. Yes, you're right, it is. Um, slots not editable. Well, on vacation. We're not on vacation, ma'am. What's happening? Um, okay. Well, you know what? We're just gonna. Um, maybe that free build? That's not it. Let me go look up the... The cheat real quick. So I can build here. See, these are usually vacation homes, but I have a mod that makes it a residential home, which I do have in, and you saw me use 
um, You saw me use build by mode earlier, so the game's just freaking out now. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we can add the party outfit cheat real quick. Oh, Sims. Oh no. Don't break. Don't break. Please. Okay. <laughs> We're so close. We only have one more thing to do in this episode. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put them in their party wear. There you go. Three good puns this this episode. So I gave them all little little bonfire outfits for their party wear. Um, I am going to turn autonomy back on now, and I'll let the party technically start. I just don't know if they're going to do anything until I reset them all. So you know, I'll let them chill and mingle as much as they want, if they will. Let's reset them all just to make sure, though. getting speedier speedier at this man um Rosabelle you can't come hang out sorry you were fucking eliminated I don't know why I never know how to spell Delphine's last name okay I think that should be everyone lickety split perfect we'll have Devante light this bonfire here Get started. We'll start with everyone just kind of hanging around the bonfire. Be careful with that lighter fluid, buddy. Don't send anyone's eyebrows off. Three good puns. I mean, they were good, Oni, even if I hate you for them. Like, they were good. Oh, poor little Haley. Um, get out your umbrella, bitch. Get out your Let's, um... Haley. Oh, there's no, like, roof over any part of this house, is there? You know what? This is hella shady over here. Can you not... Go chill in this area and be fine. Hopefully she can. Saw Devante about to interact with... Oh, he was... He was about to serenade Johanna. That's really cute. And I want him to do that at some point. But she does already have a rose and I don't want him to do it in front of everyone. So we'll do that at some other point. Get to know. I'm gonna pin that. I'm gonna make a note, like... Um, that the get to know is to serenade. That's fucking adorable. We'll do that later. Okay. That was well, come on, girl. Now you just look desperate. <laughs> right? I mean, she kind of is. Let's be completely honest. Oh, we can cozy up with people. That's cute. I'm going to start with everyone hanging out some. <laughs> Why are you, like, coughing because of the fire? Except for Haley. We will leave Haley in the shade so she doesn't die. She needs to move three feet to get into the shade. And she just stood there and burned. <laughs> yeah. Look, I don't... What are her traits again? Yeah, she's not the smartest sim. She doesn't have genius traits, so... Clearly a dumbass. <laughs> Which, I was noticing when I was, like, uploading Rosabelle to the gallery. Rosabelle? Kind of awful when I looked at her traits. I was like, I forgot she's kind of an awful person. She's like a glutton. She is a genius, but she's a glutton and a kleptomaniac. Not to be judgy. <laughs> like, uh. Okay, everyone's just coughing at the smoke, really. Um, Tuesday is first on the panel, so let's go spend a little bit of time with Tuesday, first of all. We can... Is this far enough away? This doesn't feel far enough away from them to not get mad. So let's, let's take Tuesday over here to this little point. Have one conversation with her. And then we'll do Delphine and then Reagan. What the hell is this? Okay. So each of the ladies who don't have a rose, I'm going to give one, one free romantic interaction towards. Um, and we'll see where it goes from there. It's up to them to autonomously let it... Continue forward after one prompt, though. I did turn Atomi back on, right? 
I did. Okay. There go them fish facts. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We need to be sponsored by like a bait and tackle shop or something, man. Okay, this is cute. This is going well. Alfonso? Who is Alfonso Tuesday? Excuse me. Okay. We're autonomously flirting a little bit. I don't really have any parameters for when I'm gonna stop these conversations and move to the next lady, but I'll let it go for a couple some hours if that's how long they're gonna talk, you know? I'll stop it if they try to go off and hook up. <laughs> That'll be the end to the conversation if that happens with any of them, which is very likely to happen with them. Oh my god. Oh, Delphine and Reagan are becoming pretty good friends over here. That's cute. It's nice. Well, the bonfire is kind of dying out already. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> it's fine. It's more just like an outdoor, outdoors party, I guess. A log party. Wood party. Is that a thing? Okay, I'm gonna cap their conversation off at 9 p.m. Oh, oh, what just happened? Oh, I don't know what interaction they just tried to do that did not go over well, but. That's a little awkward. Was it her who said something that he didn't like? <laughs> or is she just in an embarrassed mood, so like, her flirt's not really landing. Huh. That was kind of weird. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, he's confessing his attraction to her, though. Oh! Oh, she was not into that, though. Oh my goodness. Woof. Oh, goodness. Awkward encounter. And that's 9pm. I think that's... That's fair to end the conversation there, then. <laughs> Yikes. Daisy, why don't you go go chat with Haley some? <laughs> Share some some woes with her. Express joy of life. That's not really that tone, but whatever. We'll bring Delphine over here and get talking to her a little. Stop talking to Reagan. You have more important people to talk to right now. Um, everyone loves Delphine. If Devante dies, I think Delphine should get to be the bachelorette. I mean, I'm down with that. Yeah, I have no idea who, sh who, um, who we should use as the Bachelorette next season. Next season will probably come sometime in March or April, in the spring-ish time. Kind of when the real Bachelor comes back, I think. When the Bachelorette is on. That sounds right. I don't really watch the real show that much, I'm going to be honest. Uh, oh, he's feeling all embarrassed, though. Oof. So things might not go super well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that, just because I don't want to sabotage their chances, <laughs> like his chances with anyone, you know. And let's just go, just compliment her appearance. And I'll push things. Um, I'll probably have a a vote for you guys with who should be the bachelorette though. <laughs> Once we have a winner, between maybe the top five or something, I don't really know. Oh. 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 What just happened? Let's go, soft girl. Let's go. She just tried to flirt with him and he, like, didn't like it. Oh, no. What's happening? Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Haley's being cute in the background. Oh, okay, that, that landed, thank god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he was not into those words for some reason for a minute. I don't know why. He was not feeling it, but... Okay, there we go, good. Get back on track with those, those words. Keep going. We'll give them a couple hours to talk. We're not giving out a rose at this party to anyone, so... We'll go a little longer than parties usually do.
Stop it, dude. Hondo would spot a yen. Not a great start for the segment. Yeah, no, it's not. I'm a little worried <laughs> looking at things, to be honest. Uh, things really did not go well at all there. Oh, is she? Is that more flirty? Okay, okay. Come on, girl. You built this back up. <laughs> I kind of want to... Oh, I don't want to have too big of a hand in things, but I kind of want to throw, like, one more flirt her way. <laughs> Just to see if it'll go anywhere. Because I really like having a good conversation, but... I'm trying to be cautious because I don't want you guys to see the relationship bars. It's even more important at this point to not show them to you guys. Um... <laughs> Blow her a kiss. See how that works. Ooh. Oh, they just... Their friendship started going down a little bit there, too. Woof. Oh, he just asked her to be partners in crime. Is that what that said? Oh, no. She just reached level four, and she kind of asked people to be partners in crime. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I think that... Mm, oh, she tried to confess attraction, and he was not into it. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of negative hearts. I think the thing might be happening with that like happened with Reagan that other week when like she tried to be really intense, you know? And then it like really kinda turned Devante off. He doesn't like when the girls come on real strong, which is kinda yikes, I don't know if there's <laughs> weird sexist motivations behind that. But um Those were not really landing. Yeah, Delphine Sweetie, no, chill, yeah. It's about midnight, though. I think we need to give a tiny bit of attention to Reagan. Oh, oh, but she, he was into that. Okay, he was finally into that risque question. Those were real hot and cold. That was kind of... That didn't go great. And now he's feeling insecure. Maybe insecure about him and Delphine? Maybe that's what that is? Woof. Uh, things aren't looking great there, I'm gonna be honest. Reagan's been contemplating her life looking into this bonfire, so... Let's pull her over here for a quick chat, too, since she's the last one without a rose. Um, okay, we're just gonna have a brief conversation with Reagan to see what... See where that goes. <laughs> I'm, like, real shook. I don't know. That conversation was so much worse than I could have ever um, assumed it was gonna. We're just gonna throw one flirt. We'll see how this goes fast. She's uncomfortable, so... I shouldn't come. Oh, bug bite. <laughs> yeah, there's bugs out here, okay, bitch. Okay, she was into that. I mean, she should be. She's known for coming on way too strong, so we'll see. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, now. I was talking to this. Talking about this with Gav earlier, too. I've said that so many times this stream, but like. I think things have kind of switched with him and Reagan, to be completely honest. Like, she was coming on way too strong and, like, confessed attraction really early, and he was, like, not into it. And then that kind of ruined things a little bit. And then, like, I think their roles have sort of switched. I think after he started being into her, he got really hot and heavy, like, into Reagan. And then he started coming on really strong with her. And I think maybe the longer this goes on, the more Reagan's realizing she's not, like, as hardcore commitment into him. She was just maybe, like puppy love like first initial attraction into him i don't know it just seems like it's really switched where anytime Devante tries to do a romantic interaction with her she's like super not into it you know we'll have to see though we'll see how this risque question goes and then i'm gonna call it there because we have um we've gone late enough that was about two hours for them i think because they started talking like 11 30. <laughs> I think they all got about two hours to talk, so I don't- I also don't want it to get too, like, morning, daytime, light for the rose ceremony. It looks pretty at night, so I don't want to get too much into sunshine. That doesn't bode well. I saw that for Delphine. I just got caught up talking about other things, but yeah. It doesn't. There was definitely- there's a bit of awkward tension between all of them, to be honest, but, I mean, Delphine and Reagan both had pretty 
pretty rocky time there. That did not go well. I genuinely don't know where these results are going to shake out now. That was kind of a scary party. That was a rough time, to be completely honest. So, oof. Um, we're going to take a break. We're going to take a short break, you know, just a few minutes, maybe four or five-ish minutes. I'm going to tally these scores. We're going to see who's going home. It's either Reagan, Tuesday, or Delphine. Maybe people are on edge with so few contestants left. I think you're completely right. That's 100% it. Like, nerves are coming up. I don't know. Shit was going to get crazy and intense at this point. 100%. And it's absolutely manifesting, you know. He gets to meet their families next week. And I think people just had way too many nerves trying to impress. Including Devante. And it sort of came out as word vomit. We'll see what that did to scores, though. We'll see how Devante's feeling about everyone after this as he, you know... Here, you know what? I'm gonna move Reagan over here for a second. We'll let Devante sit on this log for a minute. Um, just like a true bachelor shot, look out, look out at the ocean and contemplate his feelings. Really get in touch with himself and how he is feeling tonight going into this. Not good. Not good, clearly. But he really needs to dig deep and see who can he can truly see as a future wife and who he really wants to meet the family of and take that serious step forward. Yeah, I think he's really contemplating it. We will leave him there, though. You guys, go ahead, speculate who you think might be going home, who you think is getting roses tonight. Uh, I will take my short break to get the rose ceremony all set up, and then we will be back with the results in a few minutes, so stay tuned. Be right back, you guys. Oof. I'm scared, bitch, but we can get through this together. <laughs> so, yeah. Be back in just a minute, y'all. Okay, you guys. Welcome back. That was genuinely the most stressful time I've had in this competition, looking at scores. I was so scared to go add up scores. Um... I think this is a pretty good shot. Everyone's got kind of different expressions going on. Um, there's a lot. Oh, you can't even see Delphine. Whoops, I didn't realize. I forgot my face cam would be there. Um, here we go. Here, we'll do this. Don't want to get on here. The ladies are what we care about. <laughs> there we go. I don't know. They all have such different expressions. Johanna looks kind of over this. Haley's happy, like she's safe. Delphine looks perhaps like a little nervous, but but hopeful. Honestly, actually, you know what? She just looks kind of loving. Um, even though her, her romantic interactions weren't really landing with him, I think she's realizing that she is, like, really in love with him. Reagan looks worried. Tuesday looks kind of hopeful. I think, you know, oh, there's a little bit of worry behind those eyes, too. Welcome back. Thank you. Um, are we ready, though, for probably one of the most dramatic rose ceremonies at least thus far they're only going to keep getting more dramatic as we get closer oh Devante does not look happy he looks so sad to be having to lose someone tonight which me too buddy it's very understandable Ugh, poor thing this cannot be an easy decision to make or some an easy thing to do you know to tell one of them that sending them home everyone a lot of them feel so strongly about him at this point um and can I be honest with you the bottom two there's a two-point difference between- I'm adding up friendly and romantic relationships for this. There were only two points between the person who gets the last rose and the person who's going home. So I was, like, shitting myself <laughs> adding them up because I was like, oh my god, how is this gonna shake out? I really wasn't sure. It was fucking close. Without further ado. <laughs> Delphine would lose and still have a loving smile on her face. Probably. I think she's real smitten with him at this point. Uh, a lot of people are, and I think that's kind of what some of the issues that are rising are about. But let's get to this. Um, lovely. I'm going to try and be very careful with my mouse to not show you relationship bars either. We're going to be doing wide strokes around them. Uh, of course, our lovely Haley and Johanna already have received roses from the, the group date and the one-on-one -on -one date this evening. So they are already safe. They don't need to worry. So why don't you to take your seat or take your place up by the podium here. Head on up, ladies. You are safe. You are in the top four. You're heading to hometowns. No need to worry. Oh, 
What well, fucking F's for Devante. Like, send Devante hugs and support. He needs them. Uh, it's gonna be a rough, rough night. Literally, no matter who goes home, like, it's gonna be rough at this point. Um, any week moving forward is gonna be tough on him, I think, for sure, for sure. I mean, they've had a long journey together, all these ladies. Okay. <laughs> you two did not go where I wanted you to at all. <laughs> um, help, technical difficulties. Someone didn't fucking go to rehearsal and then where their marks were, apparently. You know what? I just remember with the, like, Moschino stuff pack, there was the whole photography stuff, and there was, like, literally little marks. Or even Get Famous, there was, like, actress marks. I could place down X's where people were supposed to stand. I'm not gonna do that for this one because we've come this far operating like this, but for next season, try and remember to keep that in mind. I'll try and remember to keep that in mind. <laughs> that might be more beneficial. Haley, I swear to God, if you don't turn around. Sorry for how tedious this is. Oh, why am I trying to protect relationships here? I'm uh -huh. controlling Haley. It doesn't matter if you know how close Haley is with people. Yeah, gonna miss Reagan. Devante, you better honor that deal. <laughs> Oni, please. <laughs> okay, this is a little janky, but it, it's good enough. <laughs> Alright. That, my friends, leaves us with Tuesday, Reagan, and Delphine, of course. Um still got three widely varying <laughs> emotions happening here. Haley, just stop, right? I love her. She's annoying me tonight, though. <laughs> All right. Enough dilly dallying. I'm just nervous. I'm procrastinating this. Okay. Our first rose, I don't think too surprising, is going to Tuesday. Um, still pretty close between some of the other places, to be honest, but Tuesday uh, had a pretty good conversation with him. Um, I think she's feeling maybe a little bit. I don't think she was as prepared for how deep Devante maybe feels about her um, as he does, which I wasn't either because he tried to confess attraction. She wasn't really into it, but I think it mainly startled her more than anything. So I don't think we have to worry too much, but come come get a hug. The house is really battling with me for camera angles tonight, bitch, but Tuesday. Crap. Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry. We're gonna have to watch us at awkward angles. <laughs> But here, come get your hug and then stop. If you interact after that, I swear to God, I'm going to kill you, Sims. Um, and then come take your place of safety. You have made it into the top four Tuesday. Congratulations. Uh, Tuesday finally unable to get drugs is actually aware of what is happening. <laughs> right. See, she wasn't high this week and she stepped it up. Okay. Which leaves us, of course, with... Delphine and Reagan. Um, Reagan's used to being here. Reagan's been here quite often, to be honest. Delphine really hasn't. But they both kind of had a rough week this week, to be completely honest. Like, oh, helped Monte. I don't know. They weren't doing too bad earlier in the week, but the group date, like, they really didn't put in a lot of work on the group date. Um, I think they were fine during the day of mingling. I don't really remember there being any issues between either of them, but uh, Reagan's kind of had this on and off, hot and cold path, like the entire show, really. Like, she confessed attraction way too early, came on strong. We learned really from her experiences that Devante doesn't like when the women come on strong, because anytime that's happened, when they try and get, like, really intense, like, confess attraction or, like, even risque questions sometimes before he's ready, he really backpedals fast. And so they've had an up and down relationship. And then the past couple weeks, though, after they had a one-on-one -on -one date in Solani, I think is really where Devante started feeling stronger feelings for Reagan, where they kissed the first time. And then he was more on board, trying to flirt back with her. But something about the island heat seemed to cool her off a little. They were not really vibing as much anymore, and they've sort of repaired it, but it's still been real up and down since then. And that continued this week. So is it enough? Were the good moments enough to push her through to next week, though? And then on the other hand, Delphine's been, like, real strong this whole time. Uh. <laughs> I saw your message, Oni, and I'm not going to respond until after this. But Delphine's had a pretty good time so far. They've they built a slow friendship. They've had a slow burn romance. But the past two weeks, like, I, the island heat was doing wonders for him and Delphine. They really kicked it up. Like, she 
right before we moved to Solani, she really kind of kicked in, like, the, the sexy minx part of her personality, which I think Devante liked. Um, totally like seeing a sexier, like, a saucier side of her. Uh, they had a really good time. They were really smitten with each other most of the time in Solani. And then, I don't know, something kind of went awry once they moved here. They were okay on the mingle day, but the group date really kind of cooled things off. She was not happy, like, with him and Reagan kind of flirting and stuff that... Uh, gave her a lot to think about. I think it made her really contemplate how deeply she feels about him. And maybe realizing just how much she cares about him made her really want to pursue it, which then, like we discussed, cooled Devante off, because she came out real strong at the bonfire party. There was a lot of negative interactions that really was, like, digging at their relationship, and I think that really definitely made Devante feel kind of unsure. Insecure. He was, like, real insecure after that conversation. So, was their previous bond enough to push her through, or did that kind of ruin it and make him realize that he's actually not that into her? I don't know, you guys. It was real tough. Like I said, only two points between them. They both had a rocky party, at least. But in the end, it did shake out with, with two points more than the other girl. After very long deliberation, Devante has decided that the final rose is going to be going to Delphine. <laughs> Thankfully, so I'll read your comment, Oni. You said Delphine was only two points ahead of Reagan. That was a rough conversation. Um, it was. That conversation uh, really fucking dug at the relationship, I'm not gonna lie. So, um, Delphine is still in the competition. Thankfully, our girl is staying. She's made it to top four. She's making it to hometowns, but she's going to have to do a ton of work at hometowns to get back to where she was, I think, because there's some, something really went wrong this week with their interactions, and um, you're not going to embrace her in front of everyone, please. Um, if, if that caused issues, if I didn't cancel it in time, I'll fix the scores. I'll pop it back up to where they were. Don't worry. Um, so why don't you go take your place of safety, Delphine? Uh, I think their their previous oh oh goodness yes yeah, well I'll just bump scores back to to where they were no matter what just happened there so because everyone's mad it's fine <laughs> scared for soft girl I'm a little scared for her too uh, that interruption that whole thing that just happened didn't happen it's fine don't worry about it <laughs> we'll fix it um, oh oh where's Reagan going? She's just walking away. You know what? I think that that's, um, uh, that's what we're going to call it. I don't think I'm even going to let her hug him. I think Raven's mad, or Reagan's mad, and she's going to leave. Um, oh, you had an out. You're all good, Marty. Look, we're literally ending in, like, two seconds. I'm just going to give closing remarks, talk a little bit about next week, and then we'll, we'll be heading out as well. But have a good night. Uh, thank you for joining and stopping in and hanging out in our Bachelor stream, and get some good sleeps. I'll talk to you later. Uh. But yeah, everyone's kind of in a bad formation now. Um, I'm going to talk and try and get them to stand in a better spot again. <laughs> get rid of their <laughs> interactions. Don't worry. I'm going to... We're not going to let that ruin it. That embrace never happened. That's not canonic because I tried to cancel it and the game fucked up. I'm going to fix all of the scores back to where they were. But yeah, that's... I'm taking that as Reagan Storming out. I'm literally, like, leaving that. That's how we're leaving her and Devante's relationship. Because um, I think... She's maybe just frustrated. I think Reagan did sort of lose a little bit of her passion for Devante at some point, too, in Sulani. Maybe she thought she was more ready to settle down than she was. Um, I honestly thought Reagan might be the one, like, leaving Devante high and dry at some point. Haley's literally, like, walking off what's happening. <laughs> Come back, bitches. Uh, you could see her expression during the ceremony. She knew she was in trouble. Hondo percent. Oh, she knew that she was definitely in trouble. I think she was hoping that Delphine, like, tanked it just enough to, uh, <laughs> to slide on through. Oh, Devante looks, feels bad. He looks so embarrassed. Look at him. <laughs> Rip. Oh, boy. So, everyone's sad here. I'm gonna get rid of their sad mood lids. Um, I've said it so many times, but I just want to reassure you that I'm gonna fix relationship points from that. We're going back to where they were when we went into the rose ceremony, because I'm not about to let that ruin things. That would be stupid. I forgot it's jo Johanna non-committal. No, I don't think so. The only one that's non that was non-committal is Haven. I'm pretty sure. She left a while ago. Johanna is music lover, active and romantic. 
those are her traits. So she's all good, but she seems a little possessive from what we've seen. We'll have to see how that manifests as we move forward and get even more intense. Um, but I think that Devante remembered how smitten he was with Delphine and that they just, I don't know, something about the, the Granite Falls air made them a, a little rocky. You know, the cliffside kind of <laughs> put them on the rocks, but there's enough of a bond and a passion and like a care left there, I think, that it was all good in the end. He knew that, I think he really just realized that him and Reagan were never gonna be able to connect on some kind of deep level and he was tired of the up and down so it's finally time for her to go home but this is your top four delphine tuesday Haley, and johanna i think there's a couple surprises there not all of them were big surprises but these are your final four ladies they'll be moving into next week they'll be going to hometowns i'll talk about that in a second but let's see where did reagan end up we'll let reagan finish um walking out i'm gonna take her around here uh I think Devante's probably a little hurt with her just storming out too, but that's how it goes. She's kind of a volatile sim as we've seen, so that makes sense. Uh, Reagan's had a, a a good run. She's given us a lot of good drama in the show, that's for sure. We'll leave her sad at least, because that's 100% valid. Uh, we will be saying goodbye to her tonight though, so have a good time talking to all your former castmates. Hope you find love elsewhere maybe she'll find love in one of y'all's games <laughs> she'll be up next friday but we will be saying goodbye to reagan tonight you know what since we haven't seen the black and white pictures in a while and we're not going to even see them next week let's make reagan's picture black and white right now to really emphasize the bitches out of here <laughs> so we're finally down to our final four and as I mentioned a couple times, next week is going to be hometowns which means Devante is going to be heading to all of these ladies hometowns and meeting their families and talking to them he's gonna go on one date with all of them in their hometown do something that they enjoy and then go back and meet their family and hang out and i think that uh his relationships with their family is gonna definitely affect things you know if he gets along with their family or not is gonna be important to a lot of them i'm pretty sure reagan is ray gone exact perfect summary of the ending of the stream perfect way to <laughs> close out i think so, hometown should be fun, ne fun next week. I hope to see you there next week. I don't think there's anything else after that. Yeah, he's just going to go to each of their homes, and then we will reconvene with all four of them. Uh, no roses are going to be given out on hometown, so everyone's going into the rose ceremony without safety. Where No more pre-ceremony roses are going to be given out the rest of the season. Uh, this was the last of it, so everyone's going to be in danger when they show up. Um, we'll have a ceremony where one more person will go home, leaving us with our top three. That's so crazy to say. We're really getting down to it, guys. But that'll be it for tonight. Sad to see Reagan leave, but I'm happy to have these four wonderful women as our top four. And I'm excited to have Devante meet their families and introduce you guys to their families as well. I think it'll be a fun stream. I have some logistical things to figure out still, but it'll be cool. It'll be fun. And so I hope to see you there. And I appreciate you being here tonight. I love you all, and I thank you for the support so much and for hanging out with me during Bachelor Friday. I hope you have a very good night and a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you later, so bye-bye, guys. Mm -hmm.